guys today is a relaxing day today we are going to be talking about what happens to your body after sex i know so many people when they have intercourse they don't tend to understand how it comes to happen so many people are curious of why this is happening so we are talking about it in this video but first if you're seeing my face for the first time my name is blessing and you're welcome to my youtube channel i film content relating to you know health and my lifestyle and to my returning subscribers you guys thank you so much like thank you thank you so much for coming back to watch this baby girl of yours i really appreciate it without wasting too much of our time let's get started please like this video sexual intercourse is an excitement feeling it is something that people enjoy it is a pleasurable activity but do you even know how this comes to existence let's talk about what happens to your body during and after sex there are several stages when it comes to the process at which it comes to existence the first stage is excitement or the arousal phase you can call it the excitement or the arousal phase at this phase now that is when you see that the woman's heart rate is increased and the pulse at this time is quicker and pounding if you check the pulse at that time it is much faster and it is pounding the lungs and the heart they work hand in hand they are like twins they are like brothers and sisters now because they work hand in hand because the heart is pumping blood faster now the requirement of the oxygen from the lungs increase and that is why you notice that you start breathing heavily at this point you start breathing heavily because you want more oxygen in the genital areas you're going to see that the clitoris will become swollen and then it becomes more sensitive because there is supply of blood to that area increased supply of blood at that time and then the vagina as well becomes so long the color will also change from you know the regular color to like dark purple color and this is because of the engorgement of the vessels around the vagina even the breast will become bigger but this one is temporarily that it, it is going to go down after the intercourse and as well the nipple is not left out the nipple is going to erect because at this time body is ready for this activity in the excitement phase for men there will be increased supply of blood to the shaft that is the tip of the phallus the penis this will cause the penis to erect and then at this stage even the testicles you know naturally the testicles are dangling but now it is going to rise up it is even going to increase in size and move towards the body up because of the erection that is going on you see it is different from that of women because of different genitals and then that leads us to the second stage in the second stage we call it the plateau stage in this stage now that is where you see that the vagina is sensing that oh there's something about to happen and then there is release of fluids from some glands in the body like the battling glands the vagina becomes lubricated the vagina will become wet naturally this is because the vagina has sensed that there's something about to happen at this point the vagina is expecting penetration the vagina continues to you know expand that is increase in size and even becomes longer and this day the heart rate continue to increase in the plateau stage for men the intensified feeling will still continue you know the way the phallus is still increasing in size erecting the testicles this will still continue because of the continuous engorgement of blood supply to those area now at this stage that is when the precom will become visible there's something called precom which is like a fluid that comes before the ejaculation this precom is just like to balance the ph of the urethra the urethra is where the the semen is going to pass through it is also the place the men urinate through so this uh, precom is to balance the ph of the urethra so that the semen will be able to survive the sperm cells will be able to survive when it's passed through this stage 
but be very careful because at this stage this precom you can get pregnant from this precom because it might contain some sperm cells and even sti you can get sti from this precom so you need to be very careful either protect yourself if you know that your intention is not to get pregnant or you don't trust your partner when it comes to sexually transmitted infections please protect yourself because at this stage you can either get pregnant or even get sti that is the plateau stage for men at the climax stage in this stage now that is when you will get to the peak of the excitement the peak level of the excitement and this stage you're going to have the feelings of the vigorous you know contrasting and relaxing of the vaginal muscles at this point there's a particular hormone known as the happy hormone oxytocin this hormone will be released at this point this hormone has been linked to happiness and bonding and that is why you see at this point in time this might be the time that you know femi is promising to buy you land in balana island and you you are promising him heaven and earth this is because of the happy hormone this has been linked to the release of this happy hormone which happened at the climax the climax stage for men is similar to women as well because at this stage some people will sense that ejaculation or orgasm is about to occur because they are at the peak of the sexual response cycle and that is why you see some people they have the feeling that they are about you know to ejaculate at this point why some people have their orgasm at this point before proceeding to the resolution now this is for men when it comes to climax at the resolution phase for women, all those things that become erected, that become swollen, like the vagina, like the breast, everything will go back to normal. Even the heart rate will become normal again. The lungs, everything, you start breathing normal again. And at this stage, that is why you see some people at this stage, they can become so tired that they even sleep off. And at this stage even if you're not sleeping the oxy because of the oxytocin you become attracted to your partner and then you see yourself cuddly and wanting to move close to your partner that is because of the oxytocin the love hormone that was being released at the climax stage that is the resolution phase for women to the resolution phase of men this resolution phase happens after ejaculation we call it refractory phase in this phase now that is when you see that you know the heart rates that was increased will become normal everything that was rising that was you know moving towards the body will go back to its normal position because ejaculation has occurred and this phase is very very essential because if there is no break it can make this individual to have heart attack because there is a way the man's body is being made it cannot maintain this physical level of intense feeling for too long else there's going to be side effects that this person will have to deal with like heart attack so that is why the body is going to give itself it's just like a break now this refractory phase you, that is why you see some people they want to in their mind they really want to go further because some women might not be satisfied or they want to go more but this man cannot because of the refractory phase now it depends with age with age there are some people especially the young ones they their refractory phase might not last longer as compared to older people in their you know 40s or 50s if you're young then you might stay like within 30 minutes but if they're of older age then it's going to take you maybe like an hour or two to, for your body to be able to come back to this intense feeling or preparing your body for another sexual cycle if you are in your you know 70s it might take you about 20 hours to come out of this refractory phase but if you are in your 18s and above then it can take you nothing less than you know 15 30 or even one hour to come out of this refractory phase i could remember there was a time while i was working as an emergency nurse back in nigeria there was this man that was brought into our a and e brought in dead of course i remember before that day there was a day the daughter came to the hospital with the list of this man's medication she she brought out the medication and she was most concerned about the vigra because the man was taking vigra the lady had said that the man had uh you know like a girlfriend that is much more younger than the man so she guessed that the man is using the 
vigra in order to meet up with the requirement of the girl you know sexually so and this man also have history of hypertension so we don't actually know what really happened but according to the story that we heard that time it was like the man has been with that lady but we don't know if it is as a result of them having sexual activity but the thing is the reason why we have this refractory phase is just for your body to be able to recuperate from you know the high level of intense the physical feeling all those feelings that you had in the climax phase and the past you know sexual cycle phase that is why this refractory phase is there and that is why you need to get some rest you know take some time before you go for another round because this is going to affect your heart if you did not take the necessary rest that you need to take anyways thank you for watching today's video and don't forget to subscribe if you have not share with somebody that would like to learn and like this video just so the algorithm can push it for other viewers to see and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching today's video